Ninja Auto IQ blender straight out of the box. And as you can see, this is a very, very sturdy piece of kit. The Auto IQ Pro has various different settings for different consistencies and different blend modes. So let's quickly go into them now. Okay, so we have the fairly self-explanatory power button and we have the smooth boost yes or no feature. It's a special feature when using the auto extract and the auto blend modes, which can be used to control the consistency of your beverage. So if you press the button and select yes, it'll be a smoother and creamier result. If you select no, it'll be more of a textured consistency. So you can use these two, which is your extract and your blend modes, and then decide the consistency using the smooth boost. So the auto IQ extract should be used when blending hard, leafy, fibrous, whole fruits, vegetables, things like that, um, apples, celery, and then for the auto IQ blend, it can be used for a range of beverages, uh, milkshakes, protein smoothies, um, cocktails, things like that, and then you choose the smooth boost depending on how you like your cocktail. Pulse mode is fairly self-explanatory. Um, it's at its fastest setting, so the 1200 watt motor, um, and that's all run the pulse setting. So you simply hold down the button and the blades will run at the highest speed for a quick burst or power to break through ice, chopped vegetables, things like that. The high mode is just a manual setting that runs for 60 seconds and the low mode, which is a manual setting that runs for 30 seconds before automatically turning off on both of those. So for the high setting, um, dips, sauces, things like that. And for the low setting, um, things like dough and um, the blades rotate at a slower speed so you don't have to cut them that much if you do not want to. All right, let's go back into the features that we get with the rest. Okay, so first and foremost, we have the 650 milliliter smoothie jar and with the blades there, it's just a simple case of unscrewing it. And you can see just how sharp those blades really are. That's why it's called the Ninja. It looks just like a Ninja star. Place that down, screw it back up, and place that down to one side. They also come with two wonderful little smoothie tops that screw on after you've done the blend. So they can be carried around nice and portable, whether you're going for a run, going to the gym, or just simply using it to control the pour into a nice glass. The next size we have is a 900 milliliter one. And then we have the 2.1 liter jug. This is a big jug. And the best thing is, look at that. That reminds me of something from a movie called The Collection. There was a blade just like this and um, it attacked a whole of people just straight from a horror movie really sharp really looks cool and i do not want to touch it for any longer than i have to so that's going straight back into the jug so that's 2.1 liter jug right there and then we have the special lid for the jug which i'll go over in just a second so what you do to put the smoothie jugs on top of the ninja blender all you do is you make sure the blade screwed in at the bottom nice and tight just drops in like that into the corresponding holes and you turn clockwise to lock into place now you're good to go you press your start button and when this is powered on this will only engage when this is fully locked turn anti-clockwise clicks again and you're able to take it out same same process with the jug you place the jug on the top turn it clockwise clicks into place now you're ready to go. Okay, the good thing about the lid is that you've got a little arrow on the end of the jug here and all you need to do is press the release button. You can't miss it. This will release the handle and that arrow has to correspond with the arrow on the corner of the jug here. You place it on like so. Make sure it's nice and tight. Put the lever down and now we're locked into place, ready to go. So all you need to do then is put it straight onto the Ninja, turn it clockwise, locked in. Now you're ready to rock and roll 2.1 liters. What also comes with the Ninja Blender is this book of 30 recipes, different kinds of smoothies, sauces, and different little meals to try out with all of the settings completely tailored to the Ninja Blender itself. It tells you what features to use, what buttons to press, if you need it smooth boosted, what if you need it blended, extracted, 
it's got everything that you need to get started with a few early recipes. One final thing that I want to tell you is that when you put the ninja onto the floor or onto the surface rather it's impossible to get off. Now the reason for this is there's four suction cups at the bottom that keep this thing anchored to the ground. So much so that the only way to release the ninja is by pressing two levers on the side and releasing the tension. As you can see it's got some big suckers on the bottom which will keep it very sturdy. This thing is built like a tank. It's got a very powerful motor in, it feels very well built and the controls themselves are incredibly, incredibly simple. So without further ado, let's get testing the Ninja Auto IQ Pro. Okay, so what we're gonna do is we're gonna make a very simple strawberry milkshake and we're just gonna see how uh, it performs, how it sounds, and uh, enjoy a nice strawberry milkshake to uh, reward my efforts of this review. So we're going to have the 900 milliliter one. Just going to try it with the 900 milliliter, even though we probably won't need it. I've got some strawberries here. I'm just going to place them in. We've got one and a half cup of milk, and around half a pint of vanilla ice cream. Around half a pint. Put a bit more in. Okay. Now we get our little ninja lid. Place it onto the top. Make sure it's on tight and place it onto the top. Turn it clockwise to lock into place. Press the power button and what we're going to do is we've got smooth boost yes or no so obviously we're making a milkshake here so we want it to be nice and smooth nice and creamy. Um, we don't need extract um, because extract is more for the hard vegetables, your, veg your carrots, your potatoes, things like that. Blend is more for the milkshake. I believe that's a 60 second preset. We will find out the second we press it. Pulse, we don't really need it. High is for when it just goes crazy for 60 seconds and low is a nice smooth sort of cut. So hopefully when I press blend, this thing will not explode. This thing will not send strawberry milkshake uh, all over the ceiling and hopefully we get a nice consistency. So let's press blend and see what happens. It's loud. I, if you, you can't see me behind the camera here, but I'm hiding behind the fridge because I think that was gonna like shoot through the roof. That is incredibly noisy and a very, very unnerving sound. Like it does sound like not just one ninja is attacking you, like a whole army of ninjas are, are coming at you with blender fury. That is absolutely crazy. I'm just gonna press the power button and turn this thing right off. That is very, very noisy also very very powerful so let's just see what the results were flip it off it looks quite thick and uh, let's take a look I'm just going to place this top on instead so it's much easier to pour take the blade off it's so easy to set up that was 
I mean, you saw I was done in a few seconds, didn't take a while to set up or anything like that. It was nice and easy, very quick, very efficient, just ridiculously noisy. Um, I think I've got to just pop that one on there, just like that. Screw it on tight, crack it open, and pour the milkshake. Ooh, ah. Oh, it's not. Oh, what a nice consistency! Oh, it's going everywhere. That smooth boost really did the job. That is really thick, really creamy. Not sure if you'll be able to see that on camera, but that is a very nice consistency. There we go. And the taste test. Oh, oh, that's nice. That is really good. Ninja, you sound very loud, but you didn't move. The bass was incredibly sturdy. The settings were incredibly easy. I love the customization, even though you are almost limited to a, a very select few customizations, it's still very cool to have smooth boost, extract, blend, you kind of IQ Pro sort of features there and then you've got your normal blender settings, your pulses, your high, your low but that is one hell of a strawberry milkshake uh, and this is one hell of a product uh, make sure you invest in probably uh, a pair of earplugs or some very good noise cancelling headphones and you'll have no problem at all with this Ninja Auto IQ Pro blender thank you very much for checking out my review I rate this blender 4 out of 5 stars uh, I'd highly recommend it to anybody who loves their smoothies, their margaritas, making salsas, um, anything that you need, chopping vegetables, um, you can't go far wrong with the Ninja. It's powerful, it's loud, but it gets the job done. Thank you very much for watching.